Hi guys, I've just had to add this clip in because the minute I spent all the time doing my predictions for the Exeter Premier League tonight and all the graphics and all my video, it's been cancelled due to weather warnings. I think it's a really, really good call. But my video, I spent so long doing it, I'm still going to put it out there. So watch it and please get involved. Um, yeah. That's pretty much it, guys. I'm still laughing. It makes me laugh. Hi, guys. It's Gav here from DartsPlanet.tv. Thanks for joining me, as always. And in today's video, I am going to be giving my predictions from night five of the Premier League at the West Point Arena in Exeter, which is on Sky Sports at 7 p.m. this evening. I'm sorry it's late, guys. I know that many of you like these, and I've had so many comments and emails. I didn't think I was going to get a chance. But I have made time, so I hope that you enjoy it. For those of you that haven't caught my other videos, I've uploaded loads of awesome interviews this week, including the one with um, Dieter Hedman, Trina Gulliver, Paul Nicholson. I'm speaking to Okipedia later today. Yes, Christopher Kemp, the guy, the stat guy. I cannot wait to get that one live, so keep your eyes out for that also. So let's have a look at the Premier League predictions for tonight. The opening match is Gary Anderson against Rob Cross. Last week Gary Anderson was in that epic match against Peter Snakebite Wright hitting a 105.25 average and an 85.71% checkout. Yes, 85.71. Uh, Rob Cross beat Barney 7-3. He had a 96.46 average and a 70% checkout. This is going to be a good game. I'm really glad that both of them have sorted themselves out. I think that Gary Anderson is now... I'm not saying he's over all his issues with his back and all that's going on, but he's certainly playing at a lot better level. And I think on the flip side of that, Rob Cross has found a way to win again after being the world champion. Obviously, it, it's so hard to do all the interviews and the pressure. And even on the floor, he was struggling, but got that win last week. However, I think that Gary Anderson is still going to want to beat Cross, well you always want to win, but he's going to want to beat Cross tonight and show that he's still the governor. It's going to be a close match, but I think Gary Anderson is going to beat Cross tonight 7-5. Next up we've got Super Chindale Gurney against Peter Snake Bright Wright. Last week Gurney lost to MVG 7-2. He had a 96.9 average and just a 22.22% checkout. Well obviously Peter Wright, as I just said, was in that Epic six all draw with Gary Anderson. Had an average of 104.65, a 40% checkout, was throwing quicker, and I love the darts. Let's hope that Peter Wright stick with them darts. As you guys know, he's my favourite player. I'm so trying to get him on the show, guys. I have sent him messages. I have been trying through Twitter, and I'm hoping that I can get him to come on the show at some point. But going back to tonight's game, if he's using them darts, Gurney's in big trouble here. He's not looked the same for a while now. He's, he's, he doesn't seem to have the same mojo about him. He's not hitting his doubles. I think it's going to be an easy night for Snakebite and he's going to beat Gurney. I'm going 7-3. Next up, we've got Mencia Siljevic against Michael Van Gerwen. I love the gentle. Last week, he beat Gerwin Price. He had a 106.2 average and a 63.64% checkout. While Michael Van Gerwen beat Gurney 7-2 with a 103.42 and a 43 0.75% checkout. This one for me is going to be, it could be the game of the night. The Gentle has hit a free dark, uh, 100 plus average in three of the four games. Yes, he picked up his first points last week in a win, but he's playing really, really well. Solovic is a danger man to anybody, but we all know how lethal MVG is. He wants to get at the top of the table. He's going to have too much tonight for Mensa, and I think it'll be a good game, but I'm going for MVG to win this one. 7-7. Next up, we've got Raymond Van Barneveld against Michael Smith. Uh, Barneveld lost last week to Cross at 88 point, um, with an 88.6 average, 30% checkout. While Michael Smith beat Whitlock 7-3, he had an 87.3% um, um, average and a 31.2% 82% checkout. Now, I don't know what's happening with Raymond. Last week, he looked disinterested. I know we spoke about Berlin, and I did do it, um, the pre the show. I don't know whether the, at the atmosphere of it, I don't know if it was the occasion, I don't know whether the crowd, some of you said they didn't know what the chance was, or, or what it was. There was something in the air in Berlin, but Raymond Van Barneveld looked very disinterested. Michael Smith got a win in a really poor match against Whitlock, like I say, with just an 87.32, um, you know average but this one tonight Barney's gonna need to come back and play somewhere because if not he's gonna be in trouble however I think that the bully boy is gonna bully Barney tonight and he's gonna get a 
five win. Last game of the evening, we've got uh, Simon the Wizard Whitlock's against Gerwin the Iceman Price. Last week, as we know, um, Whitlock, I just said, lost to Smith. He had an 85.6 uh, average and a 21.43% checkout. Um, while Gerwin Price lost to Sullivich 7 3 at a 90.87 uh, average and a 60% checkout. Now, this game, this is a big game. Now, I know that many of you are thinking, why is it a big game? Because Whitlock's only lost one and you know, why is it a big... But it's a huge game for him. I think that Whitlock has had a very, very good start to the Premier League. But last week, he lost to Smith. If he loses tonight, if Gerwin Price wants to go any further in the Premier League, this is make or break for him. He has to win tonight, I think. If not, it's going to be too far adrift after week five. Um, obviously, we've got Judgment Night coming up in... I know it's good, a good few weeks as yet, but he needs to get some points on the board. Whereas Whitlock, he loses tonight... He's now lost two in a row against Smith and obviously Price. He's then going to be thinking, ah, oh, you know, yes, I've got that good cushion to start off with. Big match for both of them tonight. How am I going to separate them? Gerwin Price needs his boom pizzazz. He needs it back. He needs to get that aggression back in his game. When he's aggressive, he plays at his best. Paul Nicholson was saying that the other day in the interview we done. He needs to have that aggression to play well. Now... I can't separate these guys, so I'm going for a draw. A point would be good for Whitlock. It would be not great for Price, but I'm going for a draw. I, I just cannot separate them. So pretty much that is it, guys, um, for my predictions from the West Point Arena in Exeter. Like I said, it is on at Sky Sports at 7 p.m. this evening. Don't miss it. I uh, just want to tell you one other thing um, that I've been working on. I've been so busy and I can't wait to tell you because I know that you guys love my predictions and results videos and everything. And I am buzzing because I am building a fantasy dart site. And it is going to be launched probably in the next three to four days. So please, please, please keep an eye out for it. The details are there. Head across to www fantasydarts.tv and drop your email in there so you don't miss it. You're going to be able to add your predictions. There's going to be knockouts. There's going to be prize pools and you're not going to have to pay a penny to enter any tournament. Every single tournament will be free. Every single tournament will have a cash prize pool. Not only that, I've teamed up with Scotland and Winmore um, and there is going to be some awesome, awesome monthly giveaways as well. There's going to be darts, there's going to be shirts, there's going to be dark. Oh, I am, so, I am so excited. So I cannot wait. So do check that out, out, guys. And I want to get you involved in that. As always, if you like this video, please leave a like. Don't forget to turn on your notifications so you don't miss them and hit that subscribe button and tell everybody about it. Also, check out dartsplanet.tv. That is going to be massive. It's where it's all happening. It's really hard. I'm going to create one of the biggest dart sites. In the next year, everybody will have heard about dartsplanet.tv. And it's not because of me. It's because of you guys that support the channel. I am so grateful to every single one of you. Leave your notifications at the bottom of how you think the Premier League is going to go tonight and your predictions, and I'll get back to you as always. If I don't get back to every single one, I am sorry, but I get so many comments now. It is very, very difficult. But I'm going to catch you lot in the next video. Bye. <laughs>